Hi, this is lesson number 17 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to extract or select the transparent object from the white and place it to the uh, colorful background. And this lesson might be quite advanced, but since it is related to the things that we have done previously, such as uh, uh, blending molds and mask. So I just connect this lesson here with the previous exercise. Basically, we will use uh, two blend mode multiply and screen from here. And uh, also with the help of mask, we will achieve this result. And later on to add the surrounding color, we will add new fill or adjustment layer from the bottom reflection from the base. We will use wrapping from transformation. If I will switch off this layer, you can see the result here. Since it is a glass, so to magnify the background, we will use filter. In this layer here, we apply distortion filter that is spherize. So let's get started. Here I have same image and the transparent object and the white background. The first thing we need to simply place this object here. Click on move tool, click and drag. And the size is uh, okay we don't need to adjust much the first thing we are going to apply mask we will select the object previously we use polygon tool and other selection tools such as uh, quick selection here we are going to use a photoshop ai select this layer in this document layer one is selected that is glass and simply click on the select menu and click subject once i will click subject photoshop ai will detect the edges sharp edges from our object and it will make selection for us so click on subject so here we have almost perfect selection at the bottom from the shadow little bit additional area is added here we can fix that to fix this we need to use quick selection and here we have two modes if i want to enable subtract i can click here subtract from selection or by pressing alt key also i can switch to subtract from selection and simply push this selection inside this way and that is okay now our object is selected and layer is also selected simply add layer mask to hide the unwanted area so here we have glass in order to make it transparent we will use screen and multiply blend mode it will blend the layers to each other and to reveal all the shadow or dark area in our layer we will use multiply and to see all the highlights or bright area in our image we will use screen blend mode for demonstration purpose i will just create small rectangular selection here and over the background i will create new layer here we have Using gradient, we can fill color. Here we have gradient tool. In our previous lesson, exercise number 15, we use this gradient to blend the image. It is same process. You need to click on the gradient. Make sure the linear is selected. And foreground and background color is black and white. If not, you can click on this button this way. Click and drag this way. So here we have very smooth transition from dark to bright. Select and deselect. In our image, basically we have three tones. The black area, it is called shadow. Fully bright area, it is highlight. And the mid tone is here. The smooth transition from the black to white in the middle, it is called mid tone. So if we want to reveal only the shadow, we will use multiply blend mode. What does the multiply blend mode do? It will hide all the bright pixel and reveal the dark area this side is dark meaning no light and this side is white it's mean fully bright consider that the black side it is zero and white is one so when the background will multiply with the zero it will become zero the result will be black and this side it is one fully bright and background multiply one the result will be the background any number of the background once will multiply with the one will remain the background in the result this area it will be transparent 
if I will click on move tool and select this object and apply the blend mode multiply you will see the result the white is gone and the black remain in the other hand screen blend mode it is opposite if we will apply screen blend mode the bright pixel will be revealed and black will be hidden so the same method we will use to achieve the transparency and after applying blend mode we will use blend if feature to adjust the mid tone so let's delete this here is uh, my object and I am going to apply multiply so you can see that all the dark area only revealed in our layer let's rename it multiply and we are going to duplicate this click and drag it here so we have another copy and here we are going to apply another blend mode that is screen let's switch off this layer and here change the blend mode to screen so all the bright area will be revealed if I will switch off the screen blend mode and turn on the multiply somehow our object is already transparent but you can see on the glass the shining is gone so we need to bring back the shining and this what we will achieve under screen blend mode we will use blend if feature so switch on the screen blend mode to change the property in the blending option you can right click and click on blending option or in this area you can just double click so layer style panel is open and here leave everything as it is you don't need to do anything here we have blend if under blend if we have current layer and underlying layer and the current layer if I will move this slider to the right you can see clearly the most bright part only remain and all the mid tune is hidden but it is really harsh and strong if we want to make it a little bit smooth we can press alt key and split this this way so it will become smooth all right that is fine so this how we adjust the mid tune under screen blend mode so click ok couple of more tweaks we can add we can reduce the opacity layer it is selected and here we have opacity if we want to adjust so leave maybe this setting that is fine here in our image it is open area and illumination from the sky we can add little bit in our transparent object to add the surrounding color and this transparency we can add new fill or adjustment layer the layer is selected here we have add layer mask and next to the add layer mask we have add new fill or adjustment layer if i will click on this we can apply solid gradient brightness control level curve we have basically we are going to add new solid color so i will click here and by default it is black we can choose any color and then click ok to limit the color only in our transparent object we can apply the same mask to the new layer this adjustment layer is having mask already added with the color so if i want i can duplicate this mask by pressing alt key click and drag it here photoshop will give you a message that you want to replace the mask yes now the color is limited to the transparent object and here we have option we can adjust the color we can take some color from the surrounding double click on the color thumb here and here we have color picker now you can choose some color from the surrounding let's say blue and then click ok after that we need to change the blend mode so click here and apply color blend mode so here we have color but it is really strong if we want we can reduce something like this so that is fine now another thing from the bottom we are going to add a reflection in the glass that is simple this area from the background we can copy in the new layer to copy wooden texture in the new layer we will make selection click on rectangular marquee tool and simply make selection and select this background layer press ctrl j to duplicate the selected area in new layer or you can just go to the layer new and here we have option layer via copy and shortcut is ctrl j 
once I will click the wooden flooring or the base it is already in the new layer. Now the first thing we need to do we need to flip this so click on edit transform and flip vertical since it is reflection so it will be opposite and the second thing we will use option wrapping transform and here we have wrap since this is independent layer so we can transform this way that is okay hit enter to limit the area with our transparent object we need to duplicate the mask select the mask from this layer press alt key click and drag so now you can see the reflection from the base and if i will switch off clearly you can see the result another thing you will observe that here we have shadow okay this shadow we need to reveal on our multiply blend mode okay so we will edit the mask in order to edit the mask we need to use a brush tool to reveal the area we'll use white color and to hide the area and the mask we will use black color now white color is selected take some soft brush and select this mask this is multiply and just add the shadow this way this shadow it comes from the image itself and here we edit the mask if you want to see the area you can press alt key and click on the mask and look at this this what we did now same thing if you want to hide some part in your mask selection you can use the black color for brush so that is done to bring back i will press alt key and click again so here we have shadow also on the base to make it a little bit more realistic since it is a transparent object we can apply distortion filter to magnify the background in this area you can see the cloud it's really plain we need to apply filter in the new independent layer so the first thing we need to make once again selection with our transparent object it is simple to make selection with the mask press control key and click on the mask and here we have selection we need to duplicate the cloud area in the new independent layer so we will select the background press control j new layer via copy and here we have only the area in the transparent object from the background before we apply filter we need to make selection to make selection now we have new layer for this area so we can press control key and click here or if we want we can press control key and click our the mask it will also make selection so i can click here by holding control key click and now we have selection to limit the distortion filter it is important to make selection go to filter and here we have distort you can use also pinch but i am going to click on spherize i will use spherize filter and here we have option you can increase or decrease the magnification click on this minus so you can see how it's going on so in the middle it is normal and i am just going to bring it up maybe somewhere 80 and then click ok and now the cloud is magnified on the new layer and if i will switch on the background and switch off our filter layer before and now Control d to deselect so that's all let's repeat the things the first thing we have a background and then we just bring this object we place this object over the background we rename the layer multiply we apply the blend mode multiply and then we duplicate that layer and change the blend mode to screen we added new fill adjustment layer and we change the blend mode to color we adjust the opacity to control the color intensity after that on the multiply layer we added the mask to reveal the shadow the base area we duplicate from the background and we apply transformation wrap we made selection through mask and duplicate the area cloud area from the background and apply distortion filter spherize that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson try to use the similar images and practice
Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.